Welcome or welcome back to today's cooking episode. So the meal or the outcome is so yummy and delicious. Please try try this recipe at home. It's so super healthy and delicious. And in five minutes, the meal is so, so ready. So let's get into the procedure and the ingredients of the recipe on today's episode. So delicious. So into our ingredients, uh, first of all, we have a fine, very fine chopped cabbage. And the next ingredient is obviously the salt. You need salt. And um, we are going also to use one medium potato, our coriander. We are going to use carrot. We are going to have onion. And also, unto our ingredients, we shall need turmeric. But also you can use uh, yellow food color. Then you will, we will use eggs. <coughs> uh, so starting with the procedure, first of all, we are going to peel off the, the carrot. So I'm going to do it in this way. I peel off the carrot. I peel the outer layer of the carrot. Then I... Now mix the, I'll create, it's like grating, yes. Grating or grating, I don't know. You can, there's a niambi apochini. So, and to our cabbage, we are adding carrot. And guys, even as we continue, please remember to hit that subscription button. Like, comment, uh, to join this family. And I really appreciate for the support that you guys have been showing to my previous videos. Thank you so much for the new subscribers. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe and help my channel grow. And to the <coughs> subscribers, to the... to those who joined my family and are still coming back to view my videos, Thank you so much. So our toma our um, carrot is all done. Then we are going to add our onion and to the mixture. Here we are mixing everything, each and every ingredient to into one uh, into one uh, bowl that I'm going to that I'm using. So I decided to start with the cabbage, then the carrot. Then I'll add all the other ingredients. Sorry for my for my course voice. <clears throat> I'm not feeling well that well, but I have to do this recipe for you guys. We have to make super delicious um, and healthy meals. So I'm plugging you. And this will only take like five minutes. It's very healthy. Sometimes I take it and I feel I'm super full. So go try it at home. Yes, we have added our onion. I hope you are able to see how our mixture is looking so well. Then we are going to also add our potato, potato, whatever you call it. Yes, see how that see how it looks i'm just using this to give me the fine and so thin chopped so that they don't take like so much time uh to get ready so guys as i was telling you continue supporting my channel continue liking please like 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 to recommend then I noticed the other day that imagine 82% of the 
of you who are watching my videos have not subscribed please do me justice please please do me justice and subscribe yes that's our mixture we've added our potato then now we come in with our salt just kind of salt i'm using maybe one one spoon yes just add enough salt like for your taste i won't recommend like maybe one as per your mixture because maybe some of you will remind preparing a lot then i'm adding my turmeric and here i told you that you can use a uh, yellow food color or any food color you would wish because for me i'm using turmeric though for some taste but majorly for color yes because i want my mixture or my food to be colorful yes so that's why i'm coming in with my turmeric it's not that it uh, it's a must you can also do without yes you can also decide not to add so on the other step i'm using the fork just to bring all the ingredients together and that fine color hope you are able to see and notice the color how it's the how colorful the ingredients look yeah and also uh you can you can come in even with um what capsium with those different colors yes so we add in our mixture we add in our eggs hmm we are adding in eggs i'm using three eggs as per my <coughs> ingredients uh, and I told you at this point, you just measure as per your ingredient. Because maybe you have a bigger family. You want to prepare something big or uh, you want to prepare very many uh, Yes, you want to prepare like something for the big family. So you'll have to use more ingredients. So yeah, that's what I was saying. Then we are, we've added our coriander. Yes, now we come in. The reason why I have my mixer, but I'm using fork because I also don't want them to break. Don't want the ingredients to break, like the cabbage now to break into smaller pieces. That's why I prefer using fork. Yes. So see the mixture, see how it's coming out. See how it's coming out. Yeah, it's so great, so yummy. Look, yeah, that's how it is. Yes, that's how it is. So, on to our next step, we are going to put on our heat, then place our pan onto onto it for it to heat fast. I let it heat fast so that uh, the water remains can uh, heat. Then I'll come in with my cooking oil. I add my cooking oil. Yeah, then that's how we go about it. Then mean, meanwhile, don't add your mixture while the cooking oil is still not heated. So you'll have to wait for some time for the oil to heat. Then now you can come in with your mixture. Um... Yeah, so guys, as I was saying, this this is for, I recommend it mostly for breakfast. And also, sometimes maybe you can decide just to do it, maybe at any time. Because for me, sometimes I feel like at lunchtime, I might have taken heavy breakfast. So at lunchtime, I feel I don't want to take uh, a heavy meal. So what I always do is, uh, I always prefer cooking this and so we've just lowered our heat lower your heat lower your heat so that the mixture can get enough time to heat because you remember we've added some like uh, we have potato inside we have cabbage so at least they have to be crunchy yes yeah they have to be but the mixture feels and also <laughs> this is what um it's more of uh, like for the lovers of pizza. I don't, I think it's just, okay, I've, I haven't taken pizza. Mm, I just tested one day and I realized, well, this 
it's not testing the way I felt. I felt like, or I have ever heard of that it's so sweet. And so I always feel like it looks like pizza, but it's just like baby cheese, maybe like those meat mixed meat, maybe yeah. So yeah, we've already turned now. That's how it looks on the other side. So we let the other side heat or cook. Yes, either cook or heat. Yes, that's what is happening. And so our mixture is ready. Our our food is ready, yeah. Not our mixture, our food is ready. By the way, I don't have the real name. I don't have any name to call this thing. But I know it's just super delicious. I don't have the name. So I don't know. People can tell me on the description box. What do you think this is? Yeah. Just see for yourself. This thing is so sweet, by the way. Guys, you have to try. And it just needs... The ingredients are just on your door, outside your door. And I told you you can also add the capsium red, as in for colors. Yes, for colors. And also, yeah, that is it. I don't think I have so much to add on that. But guys, remember to hit that subscription button as we enjoy our breakfast. Yay, that's how it came out. Hit that subscription button, like, comment, please share to your friends. Tell a friend to tell a, a friend and I will appreciate. Give this video a like, a thumbs up. Yeah, as we continue growing and thank you so, so much for coming through. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. I love you so much. Bye-bye till the next episode.